Good evening, welcome to our master class. So my name is Isaac Mahanke and I'm a product manager at Standard Bank and I work for the division of transactional product services and I look after traditional trade products. So traditional trade products involved um, where the bank comes in to actually finance import and export uh, clients and we also provide risk mitigants such as letters of credit and guarantees. This provides trust within the trade uh, value chain in that you have various importers and exporters that don't know each other. And as a bank, we come in as that trusted party to say like, look, we can actually vouch for either, part, uh, either party on each side and you are able to actually ship or import your products and expect payment when due and you don't actually have to request an advance payment in certain instances. So that is the space that I play in within the bank and we actually facilitate this transaction throughout all our footprint in Africa and we have customers all over the world. So tonight I'm going to be touching on a topic that everyone else has been impacted by. This is the COVID-19 on the accountancy profession. So as you are aware that we all have been in, in various lockdowns throughout the world and in Africa specifically, we went on some of the toughest lockdowns that the world has seen. This has actually impacted trading and impacted businesses as well as impacted the accounting profession. So as an accounting professional, there are various aspects that you might need to actually consider in terms of how you actually look at the impact of COVID-19. COVID-19 impacted businesses in various ways in that some of the business were not able to trade, some of the business were able to trade intermittently, others were not able to actually trade and actually were required to close down their shops and others were required to actually continue as they were uh, emergency uh, services that were required. Uh, as we, uh, as an accountancy profession, you look at the way that the accountants that belong to these businesses, how they would actually account for some of their finances, some of the working capital, how do they need to raise additional working capital because now they need to pay staff that's actually not working. How do they pay the existing loans that need to be serviced where certain uh, suppliers actually are not gonna give you a grace period like we saw with the banks. Then you also have the auditors that are actually working from home and they actually are impacted because now they can actually not go and view documentation or do a walk, walk through a client site or actually interview in person some of the leadership. So some of the technologies that were available were there to actually help uh, some of the auditors to actually carry out some of their duties. But however, in certain instances, uh, with uh, year ends having uh, occurring during the, the hardcore lockdowns, I'm assuming that some of the auditors will probably have to look at looking at limited scope, meaning that they might have to only uh, review certain evidence that's available to them for them to actually provide an opinion. In certain instances, they might have to do a disclaimer in that they are not able to gather enough evidence for them to actually express an opinion. So that is from the auditor's side. However, from a company side, there are a number of activities that we also need to consider. One of the activities such as going concern that impacted especially our SMEs as we know it, um, in that they would not be able to have access to liquidity as quick as the large companies would have. So in such instances, such companies had to actually evaluate whether they are going concern or should they actually um, find other means to actually uh, survive. I think uh, the regulators as well came to party in that they were able to allow um, uh, the Reserve Bank to actually reduce the interest rates, the repo rates, which allowed the banks to actually lower the interest rates. This benefited some of the business in that they were able to benefit um, in that they cannot, uh, the interest rates that they had to pay on some of the loans were reduced. So that provided some sort of like relief. And with, um, uh, with that in mind, that actually allowed more, um, more companies to actually find a lifeline to trade post COVID-19. So COVID-19 had a huge impact throughout the whole world. It disturbed the whole working capital supply chain in that people that produced or manufacturers were limited to activities and therefore that impacted people that needed components from that manufacturing and they could not actually complete their finished goods and sell their, goods, uh, their finished goods to their suppliers. So with the whole value chain 
interrupted. That meant the number of activities or business rescue plans had to be put in place to make sure other businesses can actually survive. So the accountancy profession has been called upon to actually provide uh, much needed support. Uh, we had to work overtime in that we had to make sure that we can actually revise our estimates that are needed by our clients, revise estimates in terms of to understand whether the assets that we hold, can they actually produce future cash flows that we're expecting. That means that a number of impairments were seen. Um, that means the useful lives of plants had to be revised. In so saying though, there were also the upside in that the tax benefits that will come from the recoverability of these assets, that means the clients will benefit from these. And in turn, uh, what do you call it, uh, the guys that actually import or export, depending on which side of the, the, the coin you are, if the interest rates are going down, the exchange rate is also going down. That means you either are importing less, therefore maybe your input costs are less, but however, if you are actually selling and the exchange rate is going down, that means it's going to impact you in that you actually are getting lower revenues, uh, depending on which side of the coin you are. So the impact of COVID-19 affected each and every aspect of business from, uh, from uh, the sell side as well as the buyer side. So it depends where you sit in the value chain as an accountancy profession to say, how do you actually utilize your skills to actually support all these businesses and be able to help them either maneuver through the, uh, the pandemic and come out um, on the other side, or the guys that need to actually close down shop, how do they have the less minimum impact on personnel that are out there? Because it's real life um, livelihoods that are impacted. And if real livelihoods are impacted, this has a ripple effect on society, and um, you find communities that will struggle. And as much as there is government um, relief that has been availed, that is not sufficient. So as accountancy professions, we have been called upon to actually provide much needed support, much uh, our skills are used right now to actually navigate and provide the best available advice for our clients to actually survive and navigate this COVID-19. So this has been our master class on the impacts of COVID-19 on the accountancy profession and how the businesses have actually felt and, and maneuvered and actually came out on the other side of the COVID-19. So my name is Isaac Mahange. Thank you for joining us.